Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be trying on a couple of the new Dior single eyeshadows that I picked up and I also picked up a couple of the new eyeliners. These are the Dior Show Stilos and I also picked up a couple of the Dior Addict lipsticks. I got that in two shades and today I'm just going to be trying on one of them and I'll use the other one in another video. But before we get started about talking about the single eyeshadows, I just want to show you the beautiful packaging that Dior have got at the moment for Mother's Day. I'm going to turn down the light in front of me and hold up to the camera. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So this is the box that everything came in and it is just just stunning and the color of the box underneath is that beautiful lavender shade and then you've got the lavender through here as well and this gorgeous gold detail. Such beautiful packaging. So I've already got all my base makeup on and everything that I'm wearing today it will be listed and linked below as usual. So let's take a look at these single eyeshadows. As I was saying I picked up two shades, both are of the metallic formula. There are 20 shades in the new formula of the Dior singles and there are four finishes. There is the matte, the glitter, the satin and metallic. And this new formula in the single eyeshadows, this has no talc. The two main ingredients that they do talk about is cornflower and also floral water as well. These eyeshadows are made in France. They have a shelf life of six months from date of opening and they have two grams of product, the same amount of product that's in the Dior singles with the old formula. So let's just take a look at the outside packaging. And I've got one of the old formula eyeshadows in front of me as well. So I'll hold them up side by side. So this one is the older formula and this one here is the newer one. And on the front you can see straight away that the new one has the Dior in all of capital letters. And then if I turn it around here, the new one has a different design than the silver opening on the older single eyeshadows. So the little Christian Dior clasp on these, this is supposed to be like the Christian Dior on the buckle belt. So the two shades that I picked up is 658 Beige Mitzah and number 755 in Rose Chul. Now with the older formula, I have got quite a few. I've got about six, but none are like the shades that I picked up. I didn't want to pick up something in the same shades that I already had because even though they have a shelf life of six months, they still work just like the day I bought them. So I didn't want to get or duplicate what I already had. So first of all, let's take a look at 658. This is Beige Mitza, and this is in the metallic formula and it has a little applicator there with a sponge tip. This is a really beautiful shade and I'll swatch both of the shades in a minute. And this one is number 755 and this is Rose Chul and again this has the metallic formula as well. So here is Beige Metallic and here we've got Rose Chul. Now when I swatched them on my hand they did feel really really smooth. So I'm going to take that Rafa 14 and I'm going to start off with the shade Beige Mitza. And to begin with, I think I'm just going to run that through my crease and up onto the brow bone. This is a really beautiful shade. And as I was saying, I didn't have anything like this with the other Dior singles that I picked up. And that's why I wanted to get this shade. It's really beautiful and would be a really gorgeous one and done. And these dual singles I didn't mention, but they are 35 US dollars each. And I believe that is a price rise. So they have increased in price. So I think this is applying really beautifully. The Rafa 14 is one of my favorite brushes, but it is more fluffy. So sometimes with some types of eyeshadows, you don't necessarily get that pigment, the payoff but I'm having no issues with the payoff using this brush and it is blending out 
really really beautifully so I'm just going to take that reference number three I'm going to stay with the shade and I'm going to run this just under my lower lash line and this is a really beautiful neutral shade now let's take a look at the rose tool and I'm going to put this over this part of the lid through there so I'm going to take the refer 02 and picks up pigment really well I thought this was a really beautiful color so I just pop this on the rest of my lid this is really beautiful I thought it might be too much getting a couple of metallics although it's going to get even more glitzy once I try out the eyeliners as well but I think both together they look really pretty and that is really gorgeous and I would be tempted also to put the shade here the rose tool just in the inner corner as well but I have got the eyeliners today so I'm going to use one of those shades to do that but I think it looks really beautiful with just a brown eyeliner and some mascara I think gorgeous either shade would be beautiful as a one and done but I really like both of the shades together as well I think they look really pretty so now let's take a look at these eyeliners I picked up 076 in pearly silver and I also picked up shade 146 in pearly lilac there are 14 shades with the Dior Show, the Stilos. These are supposed to be transfer proof and waterproof as well. These eyeliners are made in Italy. They are 34 US dollars each and they come in two different finishes, what they call glitter and matte, although the name of the shades always refers to pearly. So I would say the two finishes are pearly and matte so I'm going to swatch these on the back of my hand so you can take a look now I definitely wanted to pick up the silver one because I wear a lot of silvery gray eyeliners especially when I'm wearing shades that are more cooler and I do have another lilac eyeliner as well and if I can find it I'll pull it out and do a comparison swatch the first one I'm thinking of is the Victoria Beckham Beauty one now with these eyeliners you can twist them up and also twist them back down again as well these also have a sponge tip applicator at the end so that is it's quite a small sponge tip applicator so you can blend things out or smudge things out now also here is a sharpener so the first one that you pull off that has the applicator sponge and then you go down towards where the color band is down here and you pull that off and inside is your sharpener so they are double-ended one with the sponge and also one for the sharpener so first of all I'm just going to swatch this is pearly silver and this is pearly lilac so pearly silver and pearly lilac and the Victoria Beckham eyeliner that I was thinking of is actually not in lilac that was the Victoria Beckham eyeshadow I was thinking of but I do have a silver one of hers and I've got the Victoria Beckham one and this is in sea grey so I'm just going to swatch that on the back of my hand as well and I'll do it just right below so this is the Victoria Beckham in sea grey and this is the Dior in pearly silver so you can definitely see much more of a deeper tone with that grey black underneath Victoria Beckham and this is definitely more of that very light cooler silver so I'm going to start off with the pearly lilac shade first and we'll see how this goes so I'm going to put this one on my upper lash line through here and I might put a little bit on the bottom and with the other eyeliner the pearly silver one I'm going to put that in the inner corner so this glides on really easily and it's not as soft as say doesn't feel as soft as the Victoria Beckham one And for me, sometimes the Victoria Beckham ones are just a little bit too soft. Whereas this just glides on really beautifully. So 
So that is a really pretty subtle shade. Now I'll probably have to use another eyeliner, probably a brown, and I'll do that off camera, but what I'll do is I'll just tight line so you can still see this really beautiful eyeliner through here. Goes on smooth, it doesn't tend to tug at my eyelid when you've got mature skin it can be a lot more looser so that can be an issue but there's definitely no tugging looks really really pretty and i think i'll stick with this one for a second and i'm also going to put this on my lower lash line just just through here that is a really really gorgeous shade i like it that it's more subtle. After I'd ordered it, I thought, oh, I'm not too sure. It might be just too bright. But I love how quite subdued it is. It's really pretty. So off camera, I just put the smallest amount of brown eyeliner, but I just tight lined through here. I didn't cover that gorgeous lilac color at all. It's really just to give a little bit more definition for when I have my final look. Now let's take a look at the pearly silver. So with this one, I think I'm just going to put this in, the, in a corner. And that is beautiful too. Really beautiful. Now this definitely is more like a metallic finish. And it just looks really gorgeous. So I'm just going to pop some more over here and then I'm just going to take just a tiny bit just through here as well but again easy to apply there is no tugging feels very very smooth this is a really beautiful really gorgeous color as well so off camera i popped on some mascara but i didn't add any more brown eyeliner and i think the look is really pretty so i'm also now going to use the new dior rosy glow blush and this is in pink lilac this has now been released in the uk and i'll have links down below for that hasn't yet been released at the date of doing this video it hasn't been released yet in the us but hopefully it's not too far away the shade is just absolutely stunning. Now I did a video dedicated to this blush and the different lip products that came in this collection. That was last week, so I'll put a link up there if you want to take just a closer look at it because I also do comparison swatches for this blush as well. And then finally, let's take a look at one of the Dior Addict lipsticks that I picked up. And today I'm going to put on number 391. And that shade is called Dior Lilac. And I also picked up a couple of the beautiful cases as well. And I've put Dior Lilac into this case here. This is such a beautiful shade. I haven't tried it yet, but I think it'll go really beautiful with this whole look. So here is Dior Lilac. And I will swatch this on the back of my hand. I'll put it next to the eyeliner. So here is the Dior lipstick. And this was the eyeliner. So that's a real lavender. You can see next to it a real lavender eyeliner. But this shade of the Dior Attic lipstick is just gorgeous. And I think it's going to look really pretty with this whole look. So here is the finished look and all together it looks really pretty. I wasn't too sure with the two different metallic single eyeshadows and then using the new metallic eyeliners as well. I thought it might just all look a little bit too much but all together I think it looks really pretty. So the two eyeshadows are just beautiful. I really love the shades. I think they would be gorgeous one and done singles but they work beautifully both together as well they blend beautifully and they have a great amount of pigment as well the eyeliners are great they go on buttery smooth 
and I'll be wearing them for the rest of the day. So I'll let you know if they do transfer and how long they last. If I remember, I will pin a comment once I upload this video to YouTube. But no tugging on the skin. Great pigment. I love that lilac shade. I think it is gorgeous. As I was saying, I love it that it is more subtle than I thought it was going to be. The pearly silver is beautiful and actually works really well in the inner corner just to give that pop of highlight. Really, really pretty. So as long as they don't transfer and they wear really well with my oily skin, then I'm going to pick up some more shades in the Dior Show Stilos. Probably more in the classic brown and matte shades, maybe just a couple more because they were beautiful to apply. Really, really lovely products. The blush is gorgeous. I'm going to be doing another video on that blush. As I was saying, I did one last week featuring that and the lipstick collection, but I'm also going to be doing another video using this blush because I was able to pick up those two Dior Quince and this would go beautifully with one of them in particular. This lipstick is gorgeous. What a beautiful, beautiful shade. And I love the formula of the Dior Addict lipsticks. They are very moisturizing. They have a slight gloss on the lips. They are pigmented and they don't last a huge amount of time, but I don't really mind that so much. I tend to have to reapply my lipsticks anyway quite a bit throughout the day. The formula of them is just gorgeous though. And I always think that very subtle gloss that they have is very flattering on the lips. So overall, really happy with what I picked up. Now I did watch a video earlier today. It was Ellie Chase. I'll put her YouTube channel in the description box and she picked up four shades in the four different finishes. So she was able to use a matte as well and none of the shades are the ones that I picked up. So if you want to see more of the shades, definitely check it out because she definitely has some thoughts, especially when it comes to the matte shade in these new Dior singles. So that's it for today's video. I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and I will see you next time. Bye.